Let's take a look at the date and time in the Garmin 4620. And we're going to ride the elevators at the American in Madison, Wisconsin. They're Dover Impulse. Oots. Oh, it's been lit up white. That's cool. And here, this one is. So now I'm going to send up the five. Oh, this one's got white buttons too. That's cool. And because this is in, because we're in Wisconsin, it's also in Northwestern, as well as a Dover. This one does not seem to have any buzz or chirp. So here we're up at five. That's kind of a bouncy stop. So now we're going to sense down the one. And we're going to let that one go. Now we're going to call the one on the left. And just like the one at the bottom, this call button also has lights up white. So now we're waiting for this one right here. So while we're waiting here, we got a vending, an ice machine here. This one's made my man to walk. And there's Mr. Security right there. So yeah, this is a Manitowoc ice machine. And here's your Coke machine, which basically has like Coke products. So you got Coca-Cola, Diet Coke, Sprite, Fanta, Banks Root Beer, Mini Maid Lemonade, Mellow Yellow, Dasani. Oh yeah, you got a lot. You got a lot of options here. And this machine is what is the brand of this machine? Um it should say somewhere. Oh, we just got the same elevator. I guess that might be broken or something. We're just sitting out on out one too lazy to come up. So now I'm gonna head send this one down to one. And check this out. That's right, it's got your old bumper. So, you know, there that one closes. And now we're gonna get our cab view here. It's just your basic Dover elevator for a hotel. Here's your indicator right there, as well as your Northwestern plaque. Your firefighter op fire operation instructions, you want a positive read? Fixtures and non ADA phone. Now, I want to see something here. Okay, this one's setting up at four, so you know what? I'm going to go up to four and get the other elevator. And see if we can get it from there. Because sometimes some elevators are just, for some reason, don't want to come when you call it. So maybe if I send this one to another floor and press a call button, it yeah, might get the other one. So so let's go and see. So I'm gonna send this one down to one. I'm gonna see if I can get this left elevator right here. So I'm gonna send that one down. And Okay, interesting. I guess that I guess I guess my attempt to get this elevator failed. I don't know if someone just called it or if it's just Oh, I think I hear it coming. Okay, looks like we're waiting here for a while. Yeah, my plan was to try to get this one, but it might have either left or is just refusing to open up or something. I, mean, I don't know what the situation is, but you know what? I'm not going to waste too much time because I have to leave soon, so I'm just going to head back down to one. And it's probably going to open up to take the down call. Or not. 
But when we are stopping at three. Is this going down? Yeah, it is. Okay, thank you. Are you videotaping your elevator ride? Um, no. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a hobby I have. Yeah? On YouTube. Yeah, I was just at the Ryerson filming their elevators, so then I came over here and filmed these elevators. Oh, cool. Yeah. Hopefully it works out okay. Yeah, it should. If you do want to check out my channel, it's Elevator Dog 100. So anyways, there this elevator goes. And that's it.